handsome prince like you won't get a better price or more reasonable rates. Yeah, I'm sure. It's certainly unique. It's one of a kind. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not in the market for jewelry. I don't have anyone to buy for. Hello, dear. There's your answer. Buy it for the mother of your child. I understand this is the way you do things, but I really don't appreciate you using Shirley to make inroads with me. Will you get over yourself for a minute? I'm here for a meeting on the Oncology Wing expansion, thank you. I saw Shirley's signs. I was curious, so I followed them. And I didn't turn him away. A sale is a sale. Although I don't usually get such handsome, high-profile paying customers. <laughs> Assuming you are a paying customer. Oh, absolutely. My cousin will love the necklace. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Could you hand me that blanket over there? The temperature dropped about 20 degrees as soon as you walked in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I just, I don't, I don't trust him right now. And I don't get it. If the father of my baby was a, was a hunky, rich prince, who thinks the sun rises and sets on you, I I'd at least give him a chance. Sorry I'm a little behind today. I'm just glad you're still speaking to me. Being mad at a terminal patient is not a good idea. Think of the potential guilt. I'm not mad, exactly. Here, go on, spit it out, I can take it. Okay, things are really volatile between me and Nicholas right now. We don't want the same things at all, and yet we need to coexist because we made a baby together. It's very messy and complicated, and it doesn't help when someone is trying to push us together. Even someone I regard as highly as I do you. Fair enough. Message received. I'm properly chastened. No, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just trying to make you understand where I'm coming from. Yes, Nicholas is polite and charming until he doesn't get his own way and then he becomes very domineering and manipulative. You know, lately I've been thinking that he knew exactly what he was doing with his whole affair. That's what I mean by being manipulative. Come on, Elizabeth, is that really true? Or are you rewriting history because you regret that affair to the bottom of your soul? Honey, if you're looking for reasons to absolve yourself and hate Nicholas, I promise you, you'll find them. Is that really the emotional environment you want to bring your baby into? We're not talking ordinary brothers. I mean, the Spencers and the Cassidines have been at war for decades. They come up with mind-bending plans to kill each other, and sometimes they succeed. Maybe you're exaggerating just a little. No, I'm not. Nicholas and Lucky had a really rough start, but eventually they got past their inherited animosity and they decided that the bond between brothers was more important than some grudge they were never even a part of. Until I slept with Nicholas and pretty much trashed all the progress they've made. <laughs> and you think being open with Nicholas will make it worse? I'm not in love with Nicholas like I am with Lucky. But he doesn't return your feelings. Doesn't mean that I should pack up my kids and move to Windermere and have Nicholas and his servants serve me bonbons until I deliver their heir. That's not who I am. That's not who I want to be. I don't love Nicholas, and Lucky doesn't love me, and that means that I need to do this on my own. And it took me a really long time to get to this point. So when I walked in and saw you and Nicholas being all chummy with each other and you pushing him on me, I just, I, I just felt undermined. And I owe you a heartfelt apology. I'm just a busybody by nature. Clearly impending death hasn't softened me any. Of course you shouldn't be with Nicholas if you don't love him. But one thing is set in stone. He is your baby's father. Hating Nicholas is not fair to the child. So I, I suggest you find some middle ground before the family war reignites worse than ever. Dr. Joyless. Wait, before, before, before you start, I'm not stalking you. I was in the oncology wing meeting. I promise I'll do my best not to run into you in the future unless my child is concerned. Nicholas, wait, please. I'm sorry. For what? Dr. Merritt, call For everything. 
for yelling at you, for blaming you. I realize we are both responsible for what happened, and we made a baby, and this child should be the most important thing, not my anger or my need to place blame on everyone else but myself. Oh, okay, wow, that's uh, unexpected, but welcome change of heart. I mean, you think surely she's a very wise woman. That's a funny way of getting through to me when no one else can. Well, then I'm grateful. I'm ready to meet you halfway, as long as you can respect my boundaries. You better spell those out for me so I don't make a misstep. I need to be independent. I don't want to live at Windermere, and I don't want your money. Can you accept that?